What's up, Wavelings, and welcome back to a brand new video. I got six mounts for you today that are pretty easy to get, all from Shadowlands. Like the Swift Gloomhoof, Silverwind Delarian, they take a bit of time, but trust they're easy. We'll get there. Also, if you like collecting mounts and haven't seen them yet, make sure to check out my previous easy mounts videos that are more general and cover, I think, 80 some odd mounts, maybe a couple more. Anyway, back to this one. For now, let's start this off with the easiest, though most tedious, one to get. Remember old Blanche? We get a mount related to her. I'll explain how to get that, but first, a little mystery to her. In her younger life, Blanche lived in Hillsbred Foothills, perpetually jealous of the attention a fellow horse, Bessie, was given. Later, Blanche would be transported to Westfall, where she'd serve as a farm horse for Theodore and Verna Furlbrow. For the time we visited Northrend to fight the Lich King and his forces, a certain Westfall brigade was called to arms, and no other than Blanche would accompany them. Post-serving in Northrend, she would return to Westfall, sadly to be murdered along with her owners by the Defias Brotherhood. We thought this would be the last we'd hear of her, but as it would turn out, we find her in Shadowlands, in none other than Revendreth, despite a life of at least what appeared as benevolence. A sin runner. What unforgivable sins must she have committed to end up here? I digress, if only for a jest. Sinrunner Blanche is our first mount, and it requires minimal time, but unfortunately it's a daily quest that you have to do on six different days. Each of the six different days requires a different item, which you can collect each day before turning it in, but I'd personally recommend collecting them all on the first day and then just going to turn it in each day. The items for each day are as follows, along with the results of turning them in. For the first day, you'll need eight handfuls of oats. You can obtain these from various sacks of oats in Westfall. Blanche's old home. Search for these around the farmsteads. Also note, gathering these requires level 56. For the second day, you'll need a grooming brush. This can be obtained by speaking with Snickersnee on his Discord server, or you can find him in Darkhaven Revendreth. For the third day, you'll need four sturdy horseshoes. You'll find these on roads south and east of Darkhaven as interactable objects called discarded horseshoes. For the fourth day, you'll need a bucket of clean water. To get this, you'll want to collect the empty water bucket in Darkhaven near a carriage. Then take this to Ardenweald to Hibernal Hollow to this pool of water to fill it with premium Gamer Girl bath water. If that's not your mug of tea, any other pool of water in Ardenweald works just as fine too, or in Bastion. For the fifth day, you'll need a comfortable saddle blanket. This is a bit of a tricky one. It can be purchased from Tatru, south of the Wayne Crypt Hill flight point in Revendreth. The currency used to purchase this item is a random assortment of items, so you'll have to check what they want and then either farm or buy it. I personally just bought the 10 herbs. Yes, that's right. I said herbs. Not herbs. Herbs. Yeah? I need it off the auction house on a different character, then mailed it over. For the sixth and final day, you'll need three Dread Hollow apples. This can be bought in quantities of five from Mims northeast of the Charred Ramparts flight point in Hole in the Wall. Once you have all these items, or whichever item you need for your current day, you'll need to find Dead Blanche in Revendreth. Wowhead seems to think there's multiple spots you can find her, but I'm not sure why. From what I have gathered, she only spawns in one specific spot, at 63.43. From what I have seen online, she seems to have a spawn time of about an hour and a half, but I haven't personally confirmed this. Once she spawns, she's only up for about 5 minutes, so act fast. You can go about this multiple ways as of early Shadowlands, but later on this will kinda change a bit. For now, I've had pretty good luck just finding parties in LFG for Dead Blanche, so make sure you search that to see if she's up in a different realm or phase. Long term though, like after Shadowlands is over, this will likely be massively less reliable, so you'll likely have to wait here for her to spawn. I personally just rolled up here a couple times and just AFK'd while I went to play Halo with the boys, then popped back over when she spawned. Regardless, you'll need to do this process on a total of six different days. Once you have all the items and you've found Blanche, it's really just a matter of talking to her and selecting the first option that comes up. Once you've done it for a day, feel free to go mind your own business elsewhere and come back the next day. Also to be clear, you do not have to do this on consecutive days. So if you're on day four, it's cool if you forget about it or just come back a month later or something. Anyway, after the 6th turn in, you'll get your item which you can use and boom, Sinrunner Blanche. Alright, now on to wands without dailies. The Arboreal Gulper is a giant frog mount and is our next mount. A lot of people seem to like these things. I'm not crazy about them and their idle noises freak me out for some reason, but you know, if you want it, here we are. All you need to do is literally just kill this rare boss called Humongous, Humongous what? which can be found in the northwest of Ardenweald. The mild catch though is if it's not up and there's no group for it, you'll have to summon him yourself. To do this, you can find different places on the map that have possessed Silvar and Vorkai in it like here, and just kill them until eventually they drop an item called Unusually Large Mushroom. When you're finally on the come up post-trip, 
take it to the dirt mound here in the middle of the area and right click that to summon him. Killing the boss should 100% drop the mount and you can just use it. The next one is probably the easiest on this list. That's the Wild Seed Cradle. All you have to do is collect 5 items and take them to someone and they give you the mount. The coordinates should be on screen for each of the things you must find as I list them. The first is the Gardener's Basket which you can find here next to this pool. After that, we can head over to this area and find the gardener's hammer in this broken wagon. Following that up, we can come around up to this ramp as we'll need to head up an incline to find the Diary of the Night. After that, at this location, you may find some mobs. If you do, just go ahead and take care of them. After doing so, you can loot the gardener's flute off the ground. Lastly, you'll want to head to this location to find another broken wagon, another spot defended by a couple mobs you can just take care of to find the Gardener's Wand, the final item. Now we can right-click any of these five items to create the item Twinkle Star's Gardening Toolkit. After we have that item created, we'll be ready to head to Twinkle Star in turn of all. Tell them you found their gardening tools. After that, a purple ball will appear with an image of a leaf on it. Right-click it. This will give you the Wild Seed Cradle, which you can use to add it to your mount journal. Up next we have the first of two unicorn mounts, the Shimmer Mist Runner. The way you obtain this is simply killing an NPC named Shizger in Ardenweald. It's a 100% drop chance from that mob. The catch, if you want to call it that, is that you have to go a specific pathway through a maze thing to get it. So what we're going to do is go to the entrance of the maze at Mistvale Tangle in Ardenweald. I recommend doing this stealth if you're capable of that. Makes this the easiest it can be. The following path I'm about to give does not have a time limit or something, just a specific order, so if need be, take your time. Make sure you get it right. The steps are as follows. Once you head in here, you will take a left into this section. Then continue forward a bit and take the first right you come across to get to the next section. Immediately from there, you'll take a left into the next section. Follow that up with another right, basically a left, right, left, right into the next section. Then next, we'll head straight through this clearing, forward. You'll see an archway with the blue orb to your right. That'll be the one you're going through. Lastly, you'll head to the left into this arena with water around it. You'll see the Shimmer Mist Runner in this area next to Shisker. If you don't, he may very well have been killed recently. If he has been, you'll have like an hour and a half before he respawns. Anyway, all you have to do now is kill Shisker. He's a mildly challenging fight if you don't have good self-healing, but I managed it and I'm pretty terrible at World of Warcraft, so you'll probably be fine. Kill him, then right-click the Shimmer Mist Runner to collect the item which you can then use to add the mount to your journal. Second to the last mount, we're going to head to the next unicorn, the Swift Gloomhoof. There is four parts to this process. The first three will cover obtaining an item known as the Dreamcatcher, and the last will be how to use it to get that mount. Also, as a heads up for one of the steps, you're going to need 10 Lightless Silk, so make sure to grab that before starting it if you don't already have it. Also, you need to be 60 to get that mount. So for the first step, you'll obtain an item called Broken Soul Web. To do so, you'll want to head to Ardenweald, specifically to the southwest of the map, to turn a scythe. There's a broken wagon on a floating bit of land you'll need to get to. You can do this by either using tricky parkour type uh, mechanics, but this might lend you a few deaths. So you might want to just stick with a goblin glider kit from the mainland, from particularly the top of this pointy rock, just beside Shizgur where you got the last mount. You can glide from there to this specific bit of land, then just make your way over to this wagon. Either which way, you need to be up here with the wagon, find this thing that looks like a root behind it, and pick that up. This is the broken soul web. Now that we have the broken soul web, we'll need to take it to get it repaired. You'll need to make your way over to Glitterfall Basin in Ardenweald to find Elder Gwenna. Elder Gwenna may not be there for you if you haven't done all the optional quests in Ardenweald. For a list of required quests to be completed to find her, please see the description down below. Once you've completed these quests, if she's not there, you may have to leave the area and come back. I personally just flew to the nearest flight point, then flew back. Anyway, talk with her to repair the soul web. She will ask you for 10 Lightless Silk to do this. You've probably picked this up on your adventures through leveling but if you haven't, you can always farm it up or just buy it off the auction house. Shouldn't be too expensive. Great, it's repaired. Now what? Now we enchant it. After repairing the soul web, our next objective is to speak with Isera. Isera? Ysera? Ysera? Yggdrasil? Uh, speak to Isera to have her enchant it to restore it to its full power. If you're Night Fae, just head in and talk with her by the heart of the forest. But if you're not, you can just talk to one of these guards outside and they should be able to ask her to head out for some fresh air. Then you can drop the enchanting question on her there. Enchanting or restoring, the soul web will give you the Dreamcatcher. Okay, now that's all out of the way finally, we have our Dreamcatcher, we can head to Dream Shrine Basin. This is directly to the east of Hibernal Hollow. Then use the item. 
Search around this area until you ultimately find Nightmare. You'll need to kill Nightmare for your mount. This is a pretty easy fight as long as you can keep your health up, it's just very time consuming. Periodically in the fight, it might not hurt to step back and use the Dreamcatcher again to make sure you don't get dropped off in the middle of the fight. The buff only lasts 5 minutes. Another option is to just bring a friend through this whole process. They will need their own Dreamcatcher though. Killing Nightmare will drop your mount, which you can then use, and you're good to go. The last mount on this list is the Silverwind Larian. This mount takes longer to explain than I initially expected to, so I went ahead and made it into its own video. If you're interested in that mount, check out the link in the description below to a video guide on how to get that one specifically. Once you get that, that'll be six easy Shadowlands mounts. Anyway, now that you've got your mounts, again I'd like to remind you that I have some other video guides for mounts if you'd want to check those out for how to get 80 some odd other mounts as well. Links to those will be in the description down below. If you like this video or are happy with the mounts you've collected from it, make sure to drop a like below as well as head down to the comments to tell me how bad this video is, confirming my imposter syndrome. Follow me on Twitter. Anyway, that all said, thank you so very much for watching the video. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Follow me on Twitter. Did you follow me on Twitter?